So today I'm talking about why people should set up their business and the company here in Dubai, not only your country. And especially if you're doing online business just like me, Dubai is the best place. So uh, I'm gonna explain everything and this is uh, actually my first time to take a video in English before I was doing it in Japanese but since I'm here in Dubai uh, I decided to do it in the business so if you're a Japanese viewer please read here okay uh, subtitles so number one is the investment efficiency which is a very important for your business you know keep growing for a long time every business when you make a money you have to put the investment and that's the way you keep your, your company for growing right I'm doing here in Dubai I'm doing digital marketing and also developing you know information uh, website which focus on the real estate but um, every online business even the offline business you know the world is changing every day you know same as a fashion you know this year yellow color is a fashion color maybe next year blue or red we never know right also here my IT industry this year Instagram but next year YouTube next year maybe next year YouTube is gonna be disappear I don't, I don't know we never know right but anyway it's changing every day we have to invest to another channel so I'm investing to the ETF I'm investing to the uh, fund bond fund and I also invest into the stock market, I invest with the crypto, I do many investments for my company financial stable, right? Uh, but the problem is a tax. Tax is all, all, always a problem. I don't know where you're from, but I'm from Japan. And in Japan, let's say almost 50% from the profit, you have to pay for the tax. 50%. Maybe actually, you know, 10% for the bad and 35% 30, 30, for the corporate tax, but it's a lot anyway. So only the month you can invest, it's a profit, right? It's from profit, but you have to pay 50% tax, only 50% you can invest. This is very efficient, right? I don't know what's the tax rate in your country, but anyway, Dubai is the tax rate. There is a 5%, 5% of the bad. But you know, if you're doing the online cross border, there's no tax anyway. So number two is a profit. You can maximize your profit here in Dubai, I'm sure, much more than you are doing in your country. You know, if you're a business owner already, you know the sales is not important. The most important is the profit, right? Let's say this water is fine. Uh, if you get this water for one dollar from someone and you sell it for one dollar, you get a no profit, but you make a one dollar sales. But if you put some special ingredient into that and they sell it for three dollar, you make a two dollar profit, right? So your value always measured by the profit. Sales no value, profit always value, okay? But if you are doing the business, you are living in a very expensive country. Your cost is always always expensive too, right? And if you are doing the business in the very cheap country, like let, let's say like a poor country, your sales is also poor, you know, so you don't make any profit. But if you are doing the business here in Dubai, the three the biggest three expenses of the business is number one, rent. Number two, uh, labor cost. Number three, you know, we can't be as uh, expensive, but the tax, all right? So rent, labor cost, tax, this is the most highest expense when you do the business, right? But for the tax, there's no tax here in Dubai. There's a 5% but, but you know, anyway, just 5%. And for the rent, yes, Dubai is a, a little bit expensive here compared to other country. Yes, rent is expensive, but labor cost. You know that labor cost is very cheap, you know? Uh, people from Dubai, we call it Emirati. Their average salary is, average income is uh, 260,000 US dollar around. But, you know, most of people working here in Dubai is uh, from other country, foreign workers. Foreign workers, their average salary is uh, 8,000 US dollar. 8,000 US dollar, right? And their skill is very good. Uh, so, you don't have to pay for the tax, you pay, you don't have to spend a lot of cost for labor. Yes, um, the rent is expensive, but only the rent. And you can charge, you know, there's a lot of rich people in here in Dubai. 
you can charge them like higher sales. So what I'm trying to say is you can make higher sales and the less expensive so you can maximize your profit, you know? And this profit you can use it for your investment. It's a very good circle. So number three, you can be 100% of your shareholder for your company, which is good, you know? I have a company in Japan, Hong Kong, and Singapore, Philippines, and Dubai, but some other country. You have to pay for local people to be your uh, company shareholder, uh, which, is, uh, which takes a lot of time and really hassle, and it costs extra. And also, you know, <clears throat> it's a risky. It's sometimes it's very dangerous, you know. But in Dubai, you can own your company, either free zone company or mainland company. You can own 100% of your share. You know, the regulation was changed in last June, and now you can own it. Number four is the environment, which is very important for your business and also for your mind as well. You know, me, I started my company when I was 24 years old in Japan. And the past five years, by the way, I'm 29. Past five years, I did a lot of things and I got tired. I needed some break, so I sold my some companies. And some companies, I still keep it, but I let my friends operating it, you know. So I decided to come here just for break. So I was gonna, I thought I was gonna just chill on the beach, you know, party every day, hanging out, chilling out, you know. But when I meet a lot of people here, especially people here are like investors, wealthy guy, rich guy, and entrepreneurs just like me. Yeah, you know, those people are very international. That, like there is more than 200 nationalities here in the city. Um, those kind of people, they are doing the business not for only money, but they are doing business for mostly like enjoying their life. And that kind of environment inspired me. So I joined some project with them already. And I also decided to do the business again from the scratch. So I rented out my small office and I hired people making structured team I, with that yeah. kind of environment helps me a lot. So that's it. I guess at the beginning I said a three reason, but actually there was a four reasons, but Dubai anyway. It's the best place for you to set up the business. And I hope if you need some help, you can just comment comment me I am gonna reply you know we can meet in Dubai each other yeah so next video it's coming up um, I will explain what's expenses how you grow your business Dubai and how the my marketing strategy I did I did in Japan also Singapore like uh, my framework as well I'm gonna show my template you know so just uh, please like it and comment it and I'm gonna do posting my video on my channel in English. I keep doing that. All right, see you. A Japanese barbecue lounge which originated on 17th Street in New York also has a store in Japan. This is the story of Yakiniku Futago 17th. Serving dishes that have been made under the supervision of a Michelin star chef. With famous customers like that of the world boxing champion Floyd Mayweather. Here, there is a mysterious secret door at the far end of the restaurant. Do you know the secret that is hidden behind this door? It was in 1920s America where a ban on alcohol was made. The making and selling of wine, beer and spirits was made illegal. Before the ban of alcohol was to be enforced, there was a huge scramble of people stocking up on their supply. While this was occurring, high-end bars would create doors that would lead to rooms where they would secretly serve the wealthy class alcohol. This classy atmosphere and an extravagant interior is also loved today here at Yakiniku Futago. You too can come and experience what is behind the secret door.